know what makes it hard to steal a car? No steering wheel. Guys, you want to go from this to this? Stay tuned. I'll show you how. Before we get started in today's video, I want to thank one of my subscribers, uh, Matthias, or Matthias. I'm not sure how to say it. Sorry if I butchered your name. But thank you so much for sending me this VMP shirt. It's badass. It feels great. I've wore it probably 10 times already. I'm surprised I ain't already wore a hole through it. But uh, awesome subscribers that I have. Very awesome. Guys, welcome back to the channel. So, today is Mustang content. Just when I was about to give up hope and jump to something else with a Mustang, I uh, walked outside and a package was sitting on my fence post out there. So, I'm extremely excited, guys, and I'll show you what I've been waiting on. So, today the weather's kind of crappy out. It's going to uh, rain off and on, so I figured this would be the perfect day to just get out here and do it. Even the crows are joining in. So... This is what I was waiting for. This is the Energy um, 179H hub. And what this hub allows you to do is to keep your clock spring. So you still have a working horn. You still have turn signals and, you know, all that good stuff. Which, you have turn signals normally. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, but at least you keep your horn. You could even set up uh, for your cruise and all that to go through. But uh, this steering wheel don't have provisions for cruise control. It comes with uh, wiring, and I'll show you what you're supposed to do with this, but this is uh, for your horn, and this is for your airbag light. It's, uh, these are actually resistors that make your airbag light turn off. So speaking of the rain, the rain has started. Um, one of the things they sent me, which I didn't even ask for, and I'm extremely excited, is a quick release. So I got the quick release here. It's awesome piece energy's uh quality is is i love it okay for the price and what you get um i, I think it's it's really top-notch stuff they originally sent me this hub because that one was out of stock and while i think this is badass it does not let you keep your horn but i'm going to show you why this is such a badass little product so this hub is the srk rl 19h this is a short hub see there that's your top but what this does which i think is pretty crazy if you're going to use a quick release and it's only if you're going to use a quick release you can bolt this in and this is your hub okay there's no other thing to put on you just put this on and now your quick release attached to your steering wheel attaches to this off and on that's all you need you don't need bolts you don't have to bolt it in to see the divots where the bearings go if I was going full out race or didn't care about a horn, I would definitely go this route. I think this is a amazing little product here. Um, the way this grips it and hangs on and you never have to worry about unbolting anything. I mean, you just quick release, bam, it's off, you're to the hub. Um, where the other one, like I said, it, the hub bolts to, or the, yeah, that hub, you have to bolt stuff to it. Where this one, like I said, you don't. And I know I'm rambling right now, but like, why would you, why would you, if you have a race car, why would you want to bolt anything in where well, you can just quick release, bam, it's out. And you just have this little, little diameter hub here. So with this quick release, you would push this divot in and pull this collar back. Okay. This is the part that would be bolted to your hub. Okay. If it's bolted to your hub which would be the 179 it's going to bolt to it which is how i'm going to run it okay so that's connected if you're just running this you do away with this and that goes right in there and then you can lock it down not like that but anyway <laughs> you would lock it down energy facing up and that's all you have to do when you take it off like I said, that's just got a nut holding it on. These uh, one side of this or two sides are flat. 
so you don't have to worry about it spinning on there. It's just a retaining nut. And like I said, this is the one that bolts to the actual um, hub. First thing I did, I took off my power wire. I grounded it. It's supposed to kill the resistor. Um, while it still is grounded here, that doesn't really matter. It's the power that goes to it that can set off your airbag. Inside, looking at your steering wheel, behind here, there's two little pop-off panels, one on each side. It's an eight millimeter bolt. You undo these eight millimeters and it allows the airbag assembly to come out. With that out, you can pull this forward a little and you can see there are connectors. So you just gotta easily undo these connectors that are back here so you can get the airbag assembly off. So it's just that clip up here for the airbag. Now you can set your airbag to the side. Now if you notice on both sides here, there's contacts. And these contacts are, um, I can't remember if it's these or your bolt. I'm pretty sure it's these. But when you push the horn in, it contacts here and that's what grounds it out. Your horn is ground activated. Here's your two horn wires. Your clock spring is right behind here. So these two are the wire that's going to trigger your horn, and that's important, and I'll show you in a minute. This right here for your airbag, uh, the resistors are going to go into the outside here and ground it out pretty much, or not ground it out, but trick it so you don't have an airbag light. This in the middle is a T50, so we got to get this off, and then we can work on pulling the actual steering wheel. All right, guys, with the bolt all the way out, you're going to put it in just a little bit, and you just grab each side of the steering wheel, and you're just going to shake the heck out of it. Um, a lot of times people hit on the front of it, you know, like, you just keep doing that, and eventually it'll come free. Um, don't give up. You don't need a steering wheel puller. This has been done a hundred different times on a hundred different channels as far as pulling off a steering wheel. There's not going to be any damage, and it'll come out. Just uh, keep working at it and don't give up. But leave that in because if you're pulling on it, you want some room for it to the steering wheel to move, but you don't want it to fly off and hit you in the face. I have seen that in person and it uh, it actually hurts pretty good. So, And with a few seconds of just shaking, the steering wheel is now broke free. So now we can take that center nut out and take the steering wheel off. Pull the steering wheel off. Make sure that slides free. That is your clock spring. Notice my arrow pointing straight up. That is the top. The steering wheel was locked, so it's kind of to the side. That's how you want to line up your stuff. That's the top of the steering wheel. You want to make sure on this shaft, all your stuff is pointing up. So at this point, if you was going to run this one, this is a uh, top right here. So you want to turn it where the energy is up and you would install it you gotta take this plug out to install this one okay so you would install it and now you can attach the quick release straight to this after the center bolt is on i'm on the other hand running this one and as you can see in the back it is dished and it has a hole to make room for all this so i'm going to feed this through and set this up here okay so because of the way this is shaped it lined up perfectly with where the mark was for that and if you notice, there's not a huge, ugly gap here, okay? Now, once this is tightened down, all this is set, it'll look pretty. Get the steering wheel on, but now we've got to worry about this stuff right here. Okay, guys, um, I've seen some videos, and I thought they said the green wire, but uh, mine is activated by this middle wire right here. And I'll show you, I just got this going in, and if I go to the middle port, the horn beeps. If I go to the outside, it don't. If I go to the ground, it don't. It's the middle. So when this grounds out in the middle, the middle wire, that's what activates your horn. So that is what's going to run up to your button. You're going to tap in one of these wire taps, and that's going to run all the way up to, and I say all the way up like it's far, but it's going to go up to the tap on this white right here, and this is what grounds out when you have it straight up and then that's why it's important that you get this lined up straight up to straight up because if not these contact points won't line up and you don't get the horn so and I get this all wired up and then I'll show you what I'm talking about all right so included with the kit is two different taps because 
this is this works for a 90 through um 04 so you might have a different style connection here this is just just plugs into the middle here it's going to go to the yellow on the quick hub and of course the ground from the hub that's already attached goes to the ground so we're going to attach these together so then and then i can bolt this up and uh, i'll show you what to do with the um airbag also as i got the key on i don't have the resistor in and up here got the airbag lights on sorry for the beeping but if you notice the airbag light flashes i'm just holding this relay in here and we're going to turn the key and we're going to see if the airbag light flashes this time airbag lights on it's off and no flashing it doesn't matter what side this relay goes into on if the black goes into the left or the right but the middle one is not used so you go to the it's only two wires you go to either side it doesn't matter how it goes but airbag light is off and they didn't fit too tight so i just took the very tip of them with some needle nose and bent it over so it was a little bit thicker kind of give it a hook on the end and now it's in there pretty good so i'm still going to put electrical tape around it to make sure that it don't go anywhere and also if you tape it back like that it'll put pressure where it holds it to one side anyway not sure how loud or how well you can hear me it is pouring rain pretty good right now but once you get everything tucked back there there is a little pocket over here you can put kind of stuff in and it, it'll eventually it'll work its way where it'll set flat I'll make sure it's flat all the way around go ahead and start your two screws i do recommend you putting uh the low the blue loctite on these because you do not want this coming loose while you're going down the road so i started to and then i'm going to lock tight and then take them out and put lock tight on them as it's all bolted up and lock tighted so if you look right here these are your contacts for your horns when this quick release goes on the contacts are in there now if you notice the energy when you put it on no matter how you put it it won't lock until you get to where it's straight up now it's off so when you put it on don't matter if you cook it that way or whatever it won't lock it goes in but it don't lock until you get bam so everything's lined up and now everything's perfect so on your steering wheel you got this little protector here and you take these off and you're going to take these nuts off you're not going to reuse these but these bolts right here after you take the nuts off is what screws into the hub now you're going to want the top center one to line up with your top center of your energy so that bolt right there now you can spin this so you can have the little logo on top or the big logo i just got it lined up so that's the top it's marked so that's where the center bolt goes pretty simple make sure you hook up your uh two wires that you have in here your hub off and you're going to set your steering wheel on it and line up everything you're going to hook your horn wires up and then you're going to tuck your wires in and line up your button how you want it some people have it cocked some people have it straight up it don't really matter and then you're going to put this ring on to hold your horn button and everything in and start tightening everything down much like these bolts i put blue loctite on these and now everything Is on. I just wanted to go over some options because I've watched a hundred different videos online and none of them really discussed um, the proper way to do this or what I feel is the proper way. So these people buy these cheap adapter hubs and it's got this uh, kind of metal ring with it and you have to set up this other ring where it makes contact with that for your horn to work or you just don't have a horn. Which if you're if it's a drag car you don't need a horn. You can wire a horn at a different button if you want to. A lot of people do that. But I wanted my horn on my steering wheel. I wanted it functional. One of the reasons I did not go with a Ford Racing steering wheel was because, even though I love it, there's no horn provision unless you get the little add-on buttons. And if you get the add-on buttons, there's you can see all the wires coming from the back of the steering wheel. It looks pretty cool for a race car. I didn't like it for a street car. So I went with NRG with a flat bottom. 
if you want all out race where you don't have a horn, that's simple, that's easy. But if you want a horn, you don't have to go through all this hack stuff of tying in here and making a ring and making sure this touches that and make sure there's enough friction on it. It's simple plug and play from NRG. You, you do not get any better, any more simple than this kit in my opinion. And it looks great, it fits great. You don't have this big ugly gap around the, the steering column that a lot of cars have. So looking at this from the front, it covers all this. The other hubs are smaller. You take out the clock spring and that's where you lose the turn signals kicking off by themselves and your horn, okay? So with this, it fits over the clock spring and you have room for your wires and stuff and you tie in. Now, I will say that this is the hub right here for the quick release. If you do not want a quick release, because it sticks out a little bit further, if you do not want that, you can have this off and you can bolt the steering wheel straight to this hub. So the steering wheel will go straight to this hub and the wires for the horn will go straight to there instead of this. Now this has, these are the carriers for the contacts. So basically the wire goes from here to the steering wheel versus if you just bolt the steering wheel to this, it'll go from here to the steering wheel. Okay, there's no in between. All this is is just the hub for the quick release. All right, the next thing to cover is how far it sets out. For me, I think it is perfect. My arms can stay bent. I'm not like this all the way out, which you're not with the factory one anyway. I don't want to exaggerate and make it sound crazy and elaborate, but I like how I can just, I can have my elbow relaxed on the rest, hand on the steering wheel, and I can just cruise. Also, with it being a flat bottom, I have plenty of leg room. I'm fat. That's one of the things that bothered me. So, I can still adjust the steering wheel down if I needed to and still have leg room. Um, I'm loving the flat bottom. And, like I said, the feature I wanted to keep was the horn. Also, the fact that you have the option to get the airbag light to turn off. Now, had that not been on, that airbag light would already be flashing. I do want to clarify. I put the resistor up here. You can actually follow the colored wires down. Unplug this underneath your dash here. Okay. And then back here. And you can, somewhere back here, you tie, you can put that resistor down here. And you don't have more wiring up here to deal with. Now, like I said, I got all mine to fit. Make sure everything is flat and flush. You don't want a pinched wire. Make sure your hub and your adapter are flat. There's no wire pinched in. Do not force anything. This is not stainless steel. It, you can strip it out. Be easy. Okay? So everything is perfect on this. I'm extremely excited. Um, I do have that kind of cocked to the side. It don't really matter. But... Phil is great. Also, guys, stay tuned. I have one more item that I'm adding to the interior of this car that I've wanted for a very long time, and it is probably the most pointless interior upgrade that you can do. But man, I've wanted it ever since I've seen it on Brutal's channel. So, guys, on this rainy day, I got a little bit of work done on the Mustang. I'm very excited about that. Tell me what y'all think about this energy setup. Um, would you go with a race version? I think the short hub is amazing. There's no bolts except for the one center bolt. You put that in and that's it. I mean, everything else is just snap on. I mean, you, you the hub attaches to the steering wheel, obviously, but you just spin it on and that's it. I think it's a great feature for race cars. A lot of weight dropped. Even with the quick release and stuff, um, this felt just, I didn't weigh it, but it with the steering wheel and quick release and everything, it felt less than my factory steering wheel. Of course, the factory steering wheel's got a pretty heavy airbag and stuff like that. This does not have an airbag, but on this channel, we die like men, okay? You don't need an airbag.
Turn around, I done made it this far Look back now, that wouldn't be too smart Shoot for the stars even when it gets hard Put my faith in the Lord with the 60 bars I won't turn around, I done made it this far Look back now, that wouldn't be too smart Shoot for the stars even when it gets hard Put my faith in the Lord with the 60 bars I won't turn around, I won't